So what I did there was dangerous, but it needed to be done. Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Ark Survival Evolved Primal Fear mod tutorial and guide and playthrough. Um, this is episode number four. In the last episode, we successfully tamed a griffin, and we spent the majority of the episode uh, explaining the narcotic system in this mod and how to craft um, higher-end narcotics and higher-end darts for the long neck rifle. We put those to good use to tame this griffin. Um, it went not as smoothly as I was hoping. I was hoping we would be able to tame uh, Alpha Mantis last episode as well, but we just ran out of time. Um, the good thing is we didn't die at all yet, and that's a huge win in Primal Fear. With this mod, it's easy to take one step forward and then three steps back, and you dig yourself a bigger and bigger hole over and over again. And even though we wanted to do two steps last episode by getting a griffin and then a mantis, um, we were only able to get the griffin, but we didn't take any steps back. So we're, we're progressing. Um, we are ready to tame, not our first alpha creature because we did tame five alpha dodos, but really we're ready to tame our, our first big alpha creature, which is again, the mantis. Um, I mentioned last episode, my compost bins are really full right now, so I'm just dropping the feces. Um, I, I actually didn't do anything off camera uh, between episodes this time. Uh, I'm right where I left off from episode number three. I'm going to put the trap back into my uh, box here because we're not going to need it. Uh, put my primal spear back on there. So we have an alpha kibble for the mantis, a pickup relic to pick him up after we trank, or after we tame him. We only have three trank darts left. <coughs> Excuse me, three alpha trank darts. Um, and those are just uh, 27 times more potent than a normal trank dart. Might even be 38, I can't remember. And then potent trank darts are a little less potent than the alpha trank darts. So we used a bit more darts than I wanted to for the griffin. Um, and we don't have the blood we need to make more alpha infused trank darts. So what we're going to do real quick is make some potent trank darts. Um, just so we have actually, actually, instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our crossbow in addition to the long neck rifle. Because we already have the ammo for the crossbow. Uh, so we're going to put the crossbow in number seven. And we're going to bring, uh, do we have, I thought we had arrows. Potent trank arrows. We'll bring 13 of those and put those on the crossbow. <clears throat> Let's see if we can make any more um, arrows real quick. So we're gonna get potent narcotics out of the smithy and handcraft uh, a bunch of these arrows. So for the mantis, it's gonna be a lot easier to tame him now that we have a griffin because we can shoot guns and bows, arrows, off its back. We don't have to hop down off the bird to, to shoot our target. Um, so because of that, I'm probably going to start off by hitting the mantis with these normal potent trank arrows with the crossbow, just because they're, they're cheap to make and easy. And we'll see how much uh, torpor it gives the mantis. If it's not really doing much of anything, we'll have to switch to the long neck rifle right away. But if it's doing some torpor we will uh we will keep using the arrows um and then finish him off with the high-end darts that that's the plan anyway so it looks like we're going to have 66 potent trank arrows three alpha infused darts and <clears throat> 13 potent darts so i think we are ready to go I'm just going to leave the potent narcotics here because we don't really need narcotics with us. We got our griffin. I made the mistake last episode where I ran out of stamina. I'll have to be careful with that. I'm used to having uh, griffins that have thousands and thousands of stamina, and I, I forgot that this was just a basic griffin. Okay. 
So for the Mantis, we are going to be going to, let me check my note here, it's 5280, so I'm going to point my arrow down towards it, and it's pretty much straight south from us, right where the desert starts, 5280, um, and Mantises really spawn all over the desert, and I'll show you when we get there, um, but that's just the closest spot to where they start spawning, so we'll start there. So we're just going to have to be careful with our stamina. So let's make sure we're going the right direction. Okay. And I'm going to do a couple uh, gliding maneuvers here to speed things up a little. And again, we just have to be very careful we don't run out of stamina. I don't want to get it too low to the point where I have to land like next to raptors. <clears throat> I want to make sure I have plenty left so that I can land somewhere safe. All right, we'll let that recharge. And after we get the Mantis, um, our goal is going to be to uh, go on a killing spree down at the beach because the Alpha Mantis should be able to kill a lot of things that normally we wouldn't have been able to kill. Almost any toxic creature, almost any alpha creature. We really just have to be careful of uh, Fabled, and I know there were some primal tech creatures down there by the beach. Uh, we just don't want to bite off more than we can chew, uh, but initially we're going to be able to start collecting a lot of blood from creatures that we normally weren't powerful enough to get. So I'm going to land here and just keep my eyes on that thing. Um, make sure we don't aggro him. Just getting my stamina back. This is going to be a little slow going to get to the desert. Eventually we're going to get to build teleporters, but we need cementing paste first. And that might be something to do maybe in the next episode is to loot some beaver dams for cementing paste. Uh, but uh, we're almost at the desert. Ooh, you see those shiny lights down there. Okay. That is an Origin Dire Bear. Origin, I believe, is the highest tier dino in the game. Um, only a few types of dinos can be Origin. Dire bear, bear is one of them. And that bright light we saw, you have to be very careful because even way up high here, or maybe a little lower, he can do some sort of you know elemental blast effect that can just instantly kill you right out of the air. So you do have to be careful with this mod. You could be flying around thinking you're safe and just out, totally out of your control. It could just explode and, and just kill you. Um, so it really is in your control. You need to make sure you're flying high enough up in the sky and you need to be aware of your surroundings. So we are almost at our location of 5280-ish. Our tame leveled up. Just a tip, level your tame when you're up in the sky so you don't have a menu open. Do movement speed. I could be doing his stamina too. All right, so here the desert starts. This is where the, the, a lot of creatures spawn here. They spawn in pairs of two or three, so you can see right off the bat two scorpions spawn together. And the desert is like little grids. So if you look at where I'm pointing now, here's a grid, here's a grid, here's a grid, 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 grid. So like in all those little square boxes, Pairs of two or groups of three of the same enemy will spawn. You're always going to see two or three scorpions together, two or three of these guys together. So mantis is very common in the desert, and we're going to look for groups of mantis that uh, spawn together. And then there's just a, a chance that, you know, one of them is going to be alpha. One of them could be fabled. We're not quite ready to tame fabled yet. Uh, I don't think mantis can be apex. Uh, but let's just see what we can find. And our strategy here is to just land um, and shoot off the back of our griffin. Um, and there's these nice little uh, safe areas in between the grids where there's not any enemies. Um, so it should be fairly safe here in the desert. We should have plenty of stamina to just fly around. I didn't bring that much food, and uh, hopefully we don't need it for the health. 
Okay, so here's some mantis. There's a fabled. Is that two fabled and a regular? So we def definitely don't want to get near those fabled, and we don't really want to tame a regular anyway. So we're just going to keep looking for alpha. I think those are mantis to our left. There's an alpha. 150, he's a max level alpha. I think we should go for it. His torpor is really high. I'd hate to burn through all our arrows and not have enough. That's the only concern. Maybe we'll do one shot with the bow and just see how much it does. So let's wait for him to wreck all this other stuff. Okay, he's aggroed on us already. So what we'll do is we'll fly somewhere safe, like here, hop off, and we're going to get a shot off and try to hit his head. Oh, I forgot they jump. Wow. Huh. All right, that was dangerous. Our griffin took quite a bit of damage. We didn't do that much torpor to him, but that's okay. So here's our strategy. Uh, you know, we did a decent amount, 400-something. I think we're going to just... I forgot they can jump. Wow, that was dangerous. All right, so here's the trick. We're going to fly up in the sky... Make sure we have a lot of stamina. Then we got to fly straight down before we switch to the bow. And now when we switch to the bow, now we have a clear shot. We're going to have to get closer. So these are the low-level arrows. So I'm staying further away and I don't really care that much that I'm missing because we have so many of these so he wow he jumped quite a bit um, yeah this is gonna take a while but it's gonna be so worth it if, if we can pull this off so let's go back to the bow again it might be easier to shoot him from the ground right before he jumps at us. So we hit him. It's so hard with the uh, first person view with the bow. We did not hit him and he hit us and he did quite a bit of damage. So this isn't going very well. Let's rethink this here. Uh, 17k, wow. We're going to try the method where we don't take damage, which is stay high enough in the air that he can't hit us. So it's just going to be slow. Um, but I want to I get this guy. He's max level. So I think now's a good time. If you don't want to sit here and watch this craziness, feel free to jump ahead in the video. But I'm going to take my time and do this. I hit him again. That's that's this is good. I mean, we haven't used any of our darts yet. This might end up being the whole episode with how long this is taking and how care careful I need to be about it. All right. Oh, and we also have to be very careful with our stamina as well. So his torpor does go down gradually so we don't want to take forever and I gotta stop missing though okay 3k I wish I made a lot more 
um, arrows. I wasn't prepared to take on a 150. He has like three times as much torpor as I, I was expecting. But the more I practice this method, I think the more accurate my shots are going to get. Our griffin's at half health. That's the only dangerous thing. So we really need to be careful. Um, we also don't want to accidentally lure the griffin into like a fabled creature and have it killed. Like there's an alpha scorpion that we really don't want the um, mantis to run into. So that's another thing. Because we could get his torpor all the way down and then accidentally get him killed. It's hard to judge how far away I am. So there I think I was able to hit him twice that go around. Okay, so we need stamina. That's a mistake I don't want to make. So let's get our stamina full. Let's assess our threats. We don't want Fabled sneaking up and killing our team. Okay, I need to stop moving. Okay, how are we doing on darts? We still have 45 darts. How did I miss? Darn. I didn't want to take that damage. Now, when we get him down quite a bit, we're going to switch over to the darts, so that's going to help some. Did I hit him? It's hard to say. I think one more hit and we're dead. Or a bird is dead. This is a war of attrition. So the mantis can't jump very high, but he can definitely jump far. Too low. Let's go ahead and get our stamina back. We have to be careful that he doesn't aggro and jump at us. So I don't know if the griffin's stamina is going up slower because he's injured. Or how that works. was dangerous because we were low and he was jumping. It might be the heat wave that's making his stamina um, so bad. That was a good shot. So again, um, I could switch over to darts, but I want to take advantage of these he stopped moving. I want to take advantage of these lower level uh, arrows so that we have plenty of darts to finish him off. I'm just going to have to be very careful with this heat wave. Right, I'm getting better at hitting him from the sky. Oh, 
Oh, he turned right before I shot him. Okay, I don't have any water. Oh, man. Okay. I'm trying to think, where's the water? Okay, there's the ocean. So let's just head straight west, uh, west is it? And that way we know to get back here, we go uh, straight east. So let's go straight east. Oh, I forgot our stamina. Okay. So unfortunately, the mantis uh, torpor is going to be slowly draining while we waste this time. So let's get our stamina back. Oh, Clementine, did you want to come watch? We're, we're recording right now. We are uh, trying to tame an alpha mantis. Yeah, um, we're having some trouble, though, because there's a heat wave, and he's a really high level. Hey, would you mind uh, shutting the uh, door so there's no background noise? Thanks, sweetie. All right. There's the mantis we're trying to tame. Oh, I hit him twice. That's good. Okay. getting there. 27 hours left. I'm just constantly monitoring my, monitoring my stamina. I'm getting better at these shots because I'm I have to account for the arrow dropping but I also have to account for the mantis running closer. And since our griffin is so low on health, we can no longer get down super low anymore. I think now's a good time to get stamina. Alright, so like I mentioned before, we need to be careful that we don't get that mantis to run into a fabled and get killed. I would like to hit him from the ground, but it's too dangerous. Remember, he uh, jumped at us, and uh, one more hit, we might die. So let's do it from the sky again. Just makes the shooting a little harder. Have to lead the shots a lot. there. 
Let's lure him back this way. He tried to jump at us, but we're so high up. All right. Try this. So hard to get these shots off. How are we doing on our vitals? Okay, he's going down, and we're still using the primitive arrows, and that's good. Um, oh, please don't! Oh no, he's fighting an alpha. No, he does, He's not aggroed by the scorpion. Oh, he moved right after I shot. The sun glare is strong. It's very stressful. Okay, I think we have enough stamina to get another shot off. To the viewers who are still watching, I apologize that this is so um, repetitive. But uh, and I know that the the, um, the picture quality is terrible right now, going into the gl the sun glare all the time. But again, I really want this max level mantis. And we've, we've gone this far. And I'm running out of things to talk about. But I'm really kind of completely focused right now. I don't think this fabled mantis will attack the other mantis. I don't think. So I, I'm not too worried about it aggroing. Okay, so he's in run mode right now. Um, so we got an issue. I forgot about that. We're going to have to take him down as soon as possible before he runs into something that kills him. Got to get my stamina up. We're going to switch to the very high power darts. Oh, no, I missed. He's down. All right, let's get up. Woo! No, no. Okay, don't eat that. I don't want that scorpion to eat him. He's at apex. Jeez. All right. Let's see here. I don't know what the aggro range is on the apex. I apologize. For all this uh, sun glare. Okay, we have full stamina. I need to eat because I'm losing health because of this. Uh... So what I did there was dangerous, but it needed to be done. I uh, attacked that scorpion from behind because he was about to eat our mantis. This is very stressful. I can't see anything. 
my health is just slowly going down. I didn't bring enough food. Jeez. I do have stamina. Everything's blurry. So what we're doing now is we're trying to find the mantis, but we don't want to go straight to him and lure that scorpion into the mantis. He just killed something. I hope it wasn't our mantis. Oh, everything is so blurry. Okay, let's use the dino tracker real quick. There's no alpha mantis nearby. I don't know if that means he ate it or... Okay, it's a tribe dino, which means he's tamed. goodness that was so stressful we need to get out of the desert as soon as possible there is a heat wave we got the mantis my guys my coming time my heart is beating out of my chest Whew. That, everything that could have went wrong went wrong and somehow we didn't die It, it's so trippy to look at the screen. Everything's blurry. I can't tell if my game is broken or if this is like part of the game. So, hey, Ellie, we just tamed an Alpha Mantis. We're recording right now. Cool. Um, I think there's a heat wave in the desert. Um, everything is blurry. blurry and it's really, really hard to see. We're losing health. It's hard to fly. We got the mantis on our shoulder. But I'm just, I'm trying to get out of the, the desert as soon as possible. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if this has to be part of the game. Like some sort of... Yeah, like maybe it's because of the heat wave. Maybe it's showing this to make it hard. I, I really don't know. Um, I just know our health is dropping. And we really want to get... Yeah, there we finally got the glide. Can we get out of this? Are we diseased or something? I see that icon in the bottom right. Well, there's that origin. we got to get out of the way of that. That that dire bear down there is origin. I think we're infected with something. We have to be very caref careful that we don't. What was that? The origin. This is so stressful. So I'm going to try to land here. We just want to make it back to base is really what we want to do. Maybe if you get in the water you can cool down a bit? That, that might help. I, I wish I knew what that icon meant. I think that, that has to do with... Maybe like yeah. I've seen that yeah. I just, I've never seen it after we left the desert. But maybe once we get to our home cave. Okay, so there's the lighthouse. So that's good news.
the lighthouse means we're very close to home. I'm actually wondering, oh, there's like a rock golem down there. We got to be careful that we don't run out of stamina right over top of him. So I'm going to stop holding down shift now to go slow because our stamina is almost gone. And I'm going to land on top of this lighthouse because that's probably the safest place. So if we just can charge this stamina to full, we can make it back to our cave. And then the stress will be over. <laughs> can we go in there? I think we can. Um, maybe we'll do that sometime uh, to explore. We could build something there. Yeah. So we're looking for those two rivers. There they are. And I believe that's our cave entrance right here. So we might have some sort of like disease that we need like an antidote for or something like that. Okay, well it's not blurry in the cave, right? Yeah. Or is is it it's still a little blurry? Yeah. Whew. That was very, very stressful. <laughs> Could you get in the water too? We can try. Let's go ahead and drop the mantis. But we don't belong to him. Um, oh wow, we got a lot of apex blood from him. That's awesome. Uh, we leveled up, or they leveled up quite a bit. We'll deal with that later. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, let's try the water, sweetie. So now it says we're cold and we're still diseased. That's funny. All right, well, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. Um, you know, it was almost 40 minutes long. Um, I can go ahead and research what that icon means off camera, and then uh, that way we can figure out what we need to craft or make to get that to go away. Uh, again, to the viewers, I apologize. This whole episode was a sun-glared, blurry mess, um, but that's arc for you. Maybe there was some settings in my graphics I could have tweaked to make it not so bright for you guys. I don't really know. But like I've said before, you're always welcome to turn this on the two times speed or just jump ahead. We just tamed a max level Alpha Mantis on the Primal Fear mod without dying. So, huge success. We're going to play with him next episode. We're going to equip some tools, show you guys how he can harvest things, show you guys how he can kill things. Um, and yeah, I'll try to get this blurry uh, disease off the screen in between episodes. I think the blur went away. Yeah, I think the blur did too, but we still have that icon down there. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.